Hope all is well with everyone. If you're viewing, thanks for viewing. If you like it, please like it. Hit subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff. Um, today, we're going to set up a finger groove joint. I decided to do this video because it was such a long time since I had actually um, set up one. And it's really easy. The instructions that come with these bits, they're really designed for thick material, which is why there's the ball bearing. We're not even going to use that ball bearing. Like I said, I already, like, I took down the fence for my setup and everything so we can do this from scratch together. Um, no cheating or anything like that. I haven't already set it up. But you can take all of your shorts as a craft and hobby or whatever you do. You can do some pretty cool stuff. Now, I know it's not flush, but I've got all of my finger joints pretty good. And I'm just going to plane this down because I'm actually going to use it to build, hopefully, a cool box. Um, because I like making boxes. Now, I brought out a couple scrap pieces of cherry. Now, you can finger joint this way, but you're going to lose three-eighths of material every time you do the cut. Which, if you have a bunch of off-walls, that's cool. If you don't know what to do with them, um, or you can do them end-to-end. -end. I'm going to demonstrate, um, end-to-end, -end. um, actually... Yeah, because it'll be easier for me to show you. Um, but the main thing is, is that you take your square. All right, you make sure the power's off to your equipment. And is all you have to do, you don't have to make the fence actually even. Uh, you just, you take, to, because we have our cutter right here. That's the furthest cutting point. It matches the ball bearing. All right. And we're just going to slide the fence out until we're good with that ball bearing and our square just touches that ball bearing. We're going to look and there we go. I mean, we're really good. And that's all you have to do. We're good. Tighten it up. Check it again. We're rolling smooth. And if you, I mean, I'm hoping you can see that that, that ball bearing is actually, you know, moving. Um, and then you're done with that part. Now, I have a coping sled. I, I do a lot of coping cuts. So this was worth the investment. Um, one thing I'm going to point out, it's very important when you're doing this that you set your fences really close. Because especially when you're doing these end grains, once you get to right here all right as we pass through if you're not hugging that tight it's going to want to come in and then it's going to want to come out due to that that shift well you can't really see it there you go um because really this damn thing this thing is almost the size of that that bit diameter so now I don't really have the greatest edge on these. I haven't run them through a jointer, so don't judge me here. These are just scraps that I pulled, and I wanted to be able to show this to you all. Um, I will turn on dust collection just because I don't want to mess all over the table. We're going to run one through, and then I'll show you how to do it for the reverse cut. I mean, we're pretty close to to good on that. Um, it's uh, just a few flakes. Um, as you can tell, it did burn a little bit. Um, not the greatest cut. Now, for resetup, it's super simple. Now, you do not want to touch the blade while it's on. And everybody I know out there gets so tired of, you know, saying, hey... I gotta turn off my router 500 times. So I just use like a square or small piece of wood, turn that, that, that bit around so that I don't actually touch it. And honestly, if it kicks on for some odd reason, 
Um, I lost a $12 square and not a finger, so it's worth it. But what we're looking at now is that we actually need to adjust this bit height to where it's the exact opposite of this, which I'm going to turn this this way so that you can actually see it as we do it. It's easier with the lift kit. I have done this without a lift kit. So basically, we're going to turn this thing down until the, it's the exact opposite. And it might not be perfect, but we're going to try to get it as close as possible on our first shot. So we have turned that down. Now, if you notice on that blade, I'm going to turn it this way. We're exactly the op. Well, oh, I can't see through my hand. Um, we're the exact opposite. Um, so when we go to do the cutter, hopefully it will give us the result that we want. Let's find out. We'll do this again. So now we have to where, I mean, it's joined pretty well. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, we're within, I would say, a 32nd of an inch. However, you just fine tune adjust that just a little bit up or a little bit down. In this case, um, I believe I needed to come down a little bit. But always remember, all right, your face and your backside when you're doing this. Um, it's really not going to matter for the cut, but you always want to make sure that you're keeping them appropriately faced. Um and I would, so if you're a crafter and you're using all of your scraps, it's actually not going to harm the integrity of that joint because it's in there. Um, and it's super simple to glue up and you can take all your shorts, even if these aren't the same width, once you glue them together, you can just run them through a table saw again and you can stagger them like I did for the walnut piece. Because really is what I'm going for is just a different look for fun. That's all it is. So if you have questions, please ask. It really is that simple. You might not get it on your first shot, but you know what? If you make yourself a template, you can keep that template. However, I will, it's when you run a planer, unless you have true accurate stops, and even then, not every board comes out the same thickness. Um, um, so if, if that one 132nd or one 164th is a deal breaker for you, definitely make yourself a template and make sure it matches your appropriate thickness that you're running through your planer. Everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Please like it if you like it. Hit subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff. I try to keep this stuff very simple. Everyone, have a great day.